the reflected light is extremely strong and you're also losing the edge on the light side. I think seeing this is too much. I think that's might be kind of undermining the effect, but I think overall, like the treatment is actually nice and I, I think it's working hopefully in the way you want. I like some of this line work in here because I can see that you are thinking of it and you're using that calligraphy. I think some of the problems get to areas in which you just sort of don't resolve it. I think you would get away with it, but if we were to take it to a higher level. So in other words, um, this clarity that you're showing here, we can't lose it here. So in other words, we have to, we have to know what's happening here more specifically. And this is probably too generic for the kind of portrait you're doing. So probably you want to find more of a corner here. It looks to me by the way you're doing the core shadow that you're sort of trying to put the core shadow on the side of the filtrum. But here's the deal. Look, you gotta come back here and then it goes like that. Do you see what I mean? The nose is blocking it. So you don't wanna make the mistake of thinking that's where the filtrum goes. It's not, it's under here somewhere. So in this case, uh, I was saying this before, and you can do this very lightly because you're doing these nice rendered things, but look, we need a center line badly here. And so, uh, so the center line, because what that does is that maps these problems out for us. And even if it's, then it's going to come. So then I noticed that probably the mouth is too far to the left. And the reason why is you just treated that as the center because it was visually in front of you. And then you lined that with that but that's not where it is. It's back up in here. Yeah, so probably the mouth got moved in the wrong direction. So the center line will is your, that's your, that's your uh, way of finding those things and, and addressing them. See how much the center line would improve? Because you would have made different decisions in a lot of areas if you had that. And then um, this is nice. So you're doing the nasal labial fold. You're kind of thinking of this as a line like it, but it's a tonal drawing, right? So here's how I want you to think of it, okay? It's not that. Don't do that anymore if you're doing a tonal drawing. And also, but, but, but your eye is running into the nose. That's, that's a mistake. You gotta be careful about that. It has to come, go down, and then the eye. So probably the eye needs to be, there needs to be, space there. You, you probably have your eye over too far. I might have exaggerated it right there because look, here's what it really is. It's this. And then it is. So it's sort of a similar kind of a, a, a situation here. So imagine that that's round, it's fat, right? And then just like with an egg, I can't really render softly with how I got the pencil right now, but just like with the egg, right? We get a shadow side. And then if that's thick enough and the light's in the right place, you might even get a core shadow, a cast shadow, I'm sorry. That's what that is. So no more, no more of that. Cause that flattens and you're trying so hard, look. You're trying so hard to make it 3D. So yeah, that, that's how I would think about it. I'm exaggerating that obviously. Here's what I really see in terms of the, the thinking. Maybe it didn't start like this, but I see this. I, that's what I really see in the drawing. And so I wanna find more of the, the, positive, the positive form. So I'm looking for, where's this? I'm looking for that. You know, I'm looking for, and even if this is, uh, even if the lips are tight, which I, again, this has to come down. This has to come up and this has to come down a little bit. But I'm looking for positive forms. I gotta find them because I can only render positive forms. I can't render three-dimensionally. Those are the only things I can actually render. And if you feel like, okay, that's well and good, Joshua, but I don't know all of those forms, then study the old masters, study Leonardo. He's fantastic at, old, at older heads. But we need to have, this is, this is the greater gel. And you're doing it here. Sometimes I can see you nail the form for sure. Although this seems maybe asymmetrical. We'd have to move that over here, but I'm just trying to illustrate. I'm, I'm doing this kind of fast and fast and loose, but I'm just gonna, sh I'm just gonna quickly. Okay, but then now, cause here it's almost like you're kind of guessing here a little bit. 
on how to render that. But if, if you if you convert it into positive forms, you're going to, it's gonna be easier for you to see where the shade goes. Because they're, they're form, does that make sense? This is very, uh, what I'm telling you right now is very Renaissance. You see what I mean? Now I can just go nuts. But if I'm sometimes thinking of surface and sometimes I'm just doing a line, and I, you know, sometimes I'm just looking at a shadow shape, but then sometimes it will, uh, you can look at these shapes and look at these shadow shapes and you can use them, but it has to be converted into surface to be rendered properly. All, all of it, all of it, not just muscles and not just things, but all of it. Yeah, great job though. Really good, really good uh, progress since the last time we worked together.